I had like the opposite issue as a kid in North Carolina. I told people about this North Carolina schools where I lived were so fucking weird and like shitty and they couldn't do anything for anyone. And my poor parents, they had my brother who's like severely disabled and special needs and like can't go to a normal school and he had to be like, go to some special middle school that was like two hours away and they wouldn't even bus him. So he had to be driven by like these sketchy ass, like random van drivers that the school contracted out. Super sketchy and weird. And some of these people were fucking weird. And then on the other side of the spectrum, they had me where I'm like, I'm bored at school and school's like, that's too bad. And also we hate you. I was telling my coworker about some of the shit at that school and she was like so baffled by it too. Cause like I told her what some of the things were um, well, for one, you could only go to the bathroom once a day unless Whoa. you actually had like a medical excuse that was signed by your parents. So they'd take all the kids at the same time to the bathroom and you couldn't go at any other time. What and so happened? I would just like fucking sit there because I never had to use the bathroom because I never drank water. So Marisa would have hated me. But I'd <laughs> fucking sit in line next to the bathroom just like i don't have to go but i'm being forced to stand here and same thing with the water fountain they'd take everyone past the water fountain and you had to stand in line and then you couldn't awkward. really go at any other time and then the most awkward thing that i told my friend and she was like what the fuck was when you did go to the bathroom one of us one of the students was like nominated to be like the bathroom monitor um and so you had to sit there and make sure that your classmates weren't using too much toilet paper which to this day i'm like how the fuck are you supposed to know um but they didn't want us using too much toilet paper so they'd literally dead ass have a student sitting there awkwardly listening to people to make sure they're not using too much toilet paper i'm like how the fuck does this even work and of course i just want to think i'm doing a good job so i specifically remember one time you know it was my turn to be the weird awkward ass like creepo monitor <laughs> and so I remember I'm like, well, I have to make it seem like I'm doing something, even though I have no clue, like, who's using too much toilet paper. So I remember, like, just I picked a random girl. And I'm like, yeah, so-and-so used too much toilet paper. And then she's <laughs> just like, no, I didn't. And then we just sat there awkwardly because we're both like, well, how the fuck do you, like, prove this? Like, they didn't think this through very well because I'm like, well, she says she didn't. And I said she did based off like, well, my best guess, it sounded like maybe she used more than normal, but mostly I just want to seem like I'm doing my job. So, this I mean. Just, this was at your, <laughs> this is at your school? Yeah, this was in um, North Carolina. That's disturbing. I've never heard of shit like that before. Weird. Really weird. Yeah, I know. I told my coworker this and she's like, um, what? And also, how's that supposed to work? And I'm like, um, yeah, I am 23 and I like have thought about this a lot and I'm still like, I don't know. I still don't know, because literally, like I said, I'm like, how is there not going to be a situation where it's like, um, Ashley used too much toilet paper. Uh, no, I didn't. And then what are you supposed to do? Like, take someone's side? Like, take their word for it? Like, you can't prove it. I'm like, I told my coworker, I'm like, you know, at that point, they should have just put up surveillance cameras, because, like, why the fuck not? They already have, like, other <laughs> students, like, awkwardly listening to us in the bathroom. And they're like, they should just have a fucking camera at that point. I'm like, then you'll definitely know and you'll have video evidence to prove, like, who's using too much toilet paper. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, like Yeen said, I definitely uh, think that that's just, like, fucked up. Just, like, it's just awkward in general, like... Yeah, and imagine if someone why? has, like, anxiety about that stuff, because a lot of people do. Like, in public restrooms and stuff. I think they just didn't care because, like I said, they have, like, no services for anything. I'm like, oh, you're special needs? Um, you need to go to school an hour away. Oh, you're, like, gifted? Um, that's too bad. Um, hope you're not too bored. We'll skip you a grade. That's why, like, everyone, when I moved away, everyone growing up was like, wow, you skipped a grade? You must be, like, brilliant. You must be, like, so fucking smart. And I'm like... Huh. I mean, I'm good at school, but, like, I swear to God, in North Carolina, there's, like, two or three kids in every class that skipped a grade because they're like, oh, you're, like, remotely good at school. This is easy for you. Okay, like, we're just going to skip you a grade because we don't have any other thing to do. Yeah, I agree, Summer. That does not sound like a very good idea, but uh, hearing about the school, it would not shock me if Yeah, they, no, if they I'm disagreed. totally joking. I don't think it's a good idea, but I'm like, at that point, I'm like, well, if you're already going to have people fucking listening to other people in the bathroom, I'm like, they may as well. I mean, that's like pretty much almost there, right? Like, yeah, it sounds like weird. they wouldn't have been against the idea. 
Yeah, they probably would have been done that next. They're like, yeah, students keep lying about whether other students are using too much toilet paper, so... What cheapskates? Fucking freaking out the, <laughs> over toilet paper? I know. They and probably then, yeah, bought I'm the cheapest, you, shit, like, cheapest shit possible, too. They, like, wouldn't let you go to the bathroom at other times unless you literally, like, had a signed thing from your parents that said you had, like, medical issues, right? So I'm like, That's man... Cool. These poor children who are like, and I was like, you know, seven, right? Like six, seven, eight years old. I was going to school. I'm like, damn, all these kids that are like barely potty trained are just going to be like, oh my God, I like actually can't fucking use the bathroom because I'm not allowed. I'm just going to like fucking piss myself. You couldn't use the bathroom without a sign thing for your parents? Yeah, like literally, like you only got that one bathroom break a day. And so that's why I had to what go every fuck? day. Even though I like never had to pee at school, I just like awkwardly, we'd have like 30 minutes. And all the kids would just like be lined up outside the bathroom. This is the most fucked up school ever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, and then they didn't have recess every day either. They had it like very randomly. Um, so some days you wouldn't have any recess. Some days you'd have like 10 minutes of recess. And then one time I literally remember like people being like, oh, I'm gonna like take the kids. They're gonna get like a whole last two hour recess, which I would have loved. Um, except for the fact that this was like, fucking God. I don't remember what time of the year it was, but it was fucking hot in North Carolina and humid as shit and like 85 degrees out. And so I just remember like hiding under the slide because I was like, I am so fucking hot. Yeah, you like couldn't get up during class without permission. You like couldn't go to the bathroom more than once a day. You had to spy on other kids with toilet paper. Um, the list goes on. My dad has, like, a shit ton of stories. He still remembers my third grade teacher. She, like, hated both oh. of us, like, irrationally. Um, and he has a story where, like, apparently, I remember specifically, um, they would close the doors to the school, like, the front doors. Like, the kids, would, the parents would drive up and drop their kids off at the front office. And then the, the second the bell rang, they'd, like, close the door. And you had to walk all the way around the fucking school for, like, 20 minutes. And so I specifically remember, and my dad has a story, that whatever lady was, like, monitoring it, like, my dad dropped me off at, right in front of the gate, like, right as the bell rang. And so they, like, slammed the door on my face. And so then we had to walk all the way around. And my poor dad, he used to be a BMX bike racer. Um, this was when I was a kid, so he was in, like, his 40s. But he was, like, getting into it again. But he had a really bad bike accident, so he had to stop. And so he, like, broke the bridge between his hip and his pelvis so he had like a serious injury and could barely get around like he had crutches for like months and my dad was always like a fit active guy right but he like couldn't get around easily and so he would have to like walk around the entire fucking school with me for like 20 minutes and then they'd be like why is jana 30 minutes late and my dad's like um because your stupid fucking piece of shit hall monitor like slammed the door in her face and made me walk all the way fucking around when i'm like pretty much disabled and in crutches um the big brain energy <laughs> this is like this school sounds like really abusive for oh like, uh, yeah no it gets worse with my brother too like really sketchy shit with him because like yeah. i said he was like special needs and they'd have like random ass van drivers pick him up like just random people that they like contracted to be van drivers so that's sketchy having like 12 year old special needs kids being driven like for two hours, right? Like I remember like or the one school was like they had buses from it, it was like an hour and a half bus ride. Like he'd get home like way after me. Yeah. And so I remember like my brother started like randomly saying swear words and my dad's like, where did you hear those? And apparently one of the van drivers just like took him through the McDonald's drive through. And then when he asked for fries, like fucking like swore at him and like cussed him out and shit. And I'm like, dude, that's like a 12 year old disabled child who's mentally like seven like what the fuck are you doing my dad could probably talk about it way more because like i remember i specifically remember my third grade teacher like hated him for no reason so we always got stuck with like weird shit like that and my poor parents were just constantly dealing with their shit they're like why can't our children be normal why can't we live in a normal fucking area wow yeah and my home life was, like, not good at the time either, so, like, that did not help. Shit was rough. That's why when people are just like, I miss being a kid, ask any adult. They would, like, so go back to being a kid. Like, you know, everyone wants to grow up so fast, but, like, adults just want to go back to their childhood. And I'm like, bitch, no, like, <laughs> why? 
Do I want to fucking torture myself? Like, I don't have that low of self-respect, okay? <laughs> I didn't take my normal pills. My parents are like, can we just have normal fucking children, please? 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 <laughs> I swear to God, I can only deal with so many psychotic hall monitors. <laughs> Oh, I told my coworker too about the time I literally remember. Um, I still remember this. I have a very good memory. I remember like my first week of first grade. I just skipped kindergarten, right? Because like I already knew how to read. So they just were like, "Okay, you're skipping kindergarten." Um, so I skipped kindergarten and dead ass like my first week of first grade. They gave us this worksheet. And we had to like write down like we were like learning like the vowels or whatever which like i already knew how to read so i was like whatever but i'll do this and so our teacher's like okay if the word has the vowel a in it write the letter a leave the rest blank um so i just like oh, was like sake. okay yeah that part's so fucking hard but you just have to get the timing exactly right it's like platforming shit. but anyway okay so my first week of first grade went totally awry um because they gave us this worksheet and they're like if it has the letter a you know write the letter a leave the rest blank i'm like okay and i'm like a pretty good fucking kid right like i should be the least of any teacher's concern like i sit there i do my work i don't pull on other kids hair and punch them in the face or whatever like i'm a pretty good kid okay not that the bar is very high in first grade but you know i like did my work <laughs> And I was like, well, fuck, like, I already know all this shit. And I'm like, I already filled in all the ones with the letter A. So I'm like, well, I may as well do the rest of the worksheet. Like, fuck it. Because I was bored. Like, you know, I had, like, nothing else to do because I'm five. So I, like, finished the rest of the worksheet. So if it had an E in it, I put the letter E. And if it had the letter I in it, I write the letter I. So I, I pretty much filled out the whole worksheet, like, kind of going ahead of what they were doing. My teacher threw, like, the biggest fucking fit that you can ever imagine. Like, I, I I still don't know, like, what teacher would freak out so much over a child doing, like, extra work, right? Like, I think most <laughs> teachers would be like, whoa, I can't get kids to do work. This one did extra work for, like, no reason. Wow. She's a workaholic. You know, calm down there, kiddo. You're okay. But no, she, like, literally, like, flipped the fuck out. She's like, I'm going to show this to the principal's office. You're going to be in trouble. I'm going to, like, send you to the principal. You did, like, way more than what you were supposed to do. <laughs> like, just has, like, a fucking meltdown in the middle of class. The in front of the room. And I literally remember telling my parents. And, like, you know, I don't take my mom's side on a lot of stuff. But she was absolutely right. She's just like, um, what the fuck? And so she's like, yeah, we're, like, switching you out of that class. Um, So I had to, like switch first grade teachers and then all my friends were like in that other class like oh i have miss so-and-so for first grade she's like so nice and i'm here i'm like uh no she like screamed at me for doing extra work question mark like what the fuck wow that is yeah so but it was like weird. the weirdest fucking school ever like i can't believe it's real looking back on it what grades was the school from like in between um it was an elementary school so it's first through fifth but i moved yeah. away after third grade like probably for the best honestly that's, that's good <laughs> like i don't need psychological damage okay more than you already got anyway yeah i was about to say i already had to deal with like my parents being like not in a functioning relationship in any stretch yeah. so i didn't also need to deal with my school like having a fucking shit fit over like doing too much work and using too much toilet paper like <laughs> the weirdest thing about it all was like actually the principal of that school was like super fucking nice like the nicest man so i don't know how all this shit happened there because like literally every teacher whenever anything had happened they'd be like we're gonna report you to the principal and then every time every fucking time the principal would be like oh yeah no they're fine like they didn't do anything wrong you're just being like psychotic bitches for no reason like he took our side on like every single fucking conflict i can remember having and like you think they would learn after like the second time that like we're gonna report you to the principal is not a threat like he has no problem with us like he was a very nice man and he like always took my dad's side and my dad really respected him i'm like why are these teachers always like like every time every time they're like we're gonna take you to the principal like we're gonna like go up on this and the principal every time is like um no <laughs> what <laughs> the only norm the only other normal person in the school so but yeah, the TLDR is like every teacher irrationally hated me, even though I should have been like probably like <sighs> the least of their fucking worries. Also, I'm gonna bite this guy's nuts off. <laughs> That's kind of hot. I don't know. <laughs>